previous episode, we left Norway, crossing the North Sea. And now we are coming between the oil rigs on our way down to Inverness in Scotland. And there we're going to do the Caledonian Canal. We're going down the oil rig alley here. <laughs> and I'm downloading the weather. You're downloading the weather? Yeah, to see if something has it's changed. changed. Yeah, here, here you can see how, where we're going. So you have oil rigs all around us. Yeah. It's uh, interesting to uh, go uh, uh, in between all these oil rigs and um, you are not supposed to come uh, closer than maximum um, uh, of 500 meters but I'd say 500 meters I'd like to keep a, a better distance than that uh, 500 meters we will pass with uh, one and a half nautical and that is how close it is as I'm filming now so this is the second evening and uh, we will have a beautiful sunset mm. uh, and you are going off your watch now yes and I'm taking over it's nine o'clock uh, I will be back at midnight. Midnight. Mm. And then we have a new weather forecast. So far it has been pretty correct. Mm -hmm. And uh, we will... So I guess you can see it over there. Beautiful sunset. Mm. And red sky at night is a sailor's delight. I had to come out and film the sunset. We have got higher there. So this is how it can look like at night on the plotter. There's two fishing boats and us out. And uh, now we'll go outside and show you how they look like in real life. I guess. Well, maybe, maybe we could. Maybe I couldn't show it to you. There. There you go. There's. Uh, white light and red lights and uh, we're gonna pass them with a just half a nautical it's interesting and uh, a little bit worrying some if they really see you on the AS or not <laughs> otherwise I would call them up So here you can see I've zoomed in that uh, we are going to uh, uh, meet and if I press here you can see that it's going to be a distance of between 200-300 meters between us and it will happen in 23 minutes, 26 minutes. See there's could be only 4 meters, now we couldn't have that. So, um, we'll see what we do. Here's a, a fishing boat uh, that we just talked to on, uh, on the radio and uh, he said he was going to go behind us. He's a nice Scotsman, probably from Shetland. Since, uh, since this is where we are, it's probably a Shetland person on board this fishing vessel that gave way for us. Thank you, 
it's uh, 5.30 in the morning and we are coming up between uh, Shetland and Fair Island. In there we have Shetland and here comes the ferry to Shetland over there. And um, you can see Fair Island down there. We're not doing much speed, but we have the current with us, and so the ground it's it's okay. It's like five knots, and um, yeah, we are according to the weather routing as well. So we are on track and on time. Where we're coming up, Shetland. I do like this. This is we started there, come there, coming up here, and we will do a track down there to get the wind. But now there is like not much wind. And then um, it's time to for, for Shannon to wake up now. So we'll wake her up and she will do her shift. Good morning. How are you? Good morning. What's my clock in here? Six o'clock. No. And it's time for your watch. Oh. Do you looking forward? So there is no way I can bribe you to take me three hours. <laughs> no, sorry, you can't. Now I want to go and have a little sleep. We have come to the end of the the wind, we could say. You can hear it, we have started the engine. Uh, we have uh, weak winds, like 8, 10 knots, and we could sail, but uh, when you have like a current against you uh, of like a knot or so, or even more, you're not doing much speed then. So no. we decided that we will motor as long as we have the current against us. Yes. And uh, it's also time to put up the the flag. The courtesy flag for Scotland. Yeah. As we uh, will uh, arrive into Inverness in Scotland within a day or so. Yeah. And we are now heading towards uh, uh, what is the island called? Orkney. Orkney. Yeah, yeah, coming close to Orkney. So we, I guess, we will have Orkney on our uh, starboard side uh, the whole night. Yeah. And. Uh, you can see Fair Isle still in there. Yeah. So we haven't made much uh, progress. Yeah. We sailed around Fair Isle. Yeah. yeah. Because we had to do that for the window. And we made good speed during the night. Yeah. I saw like five, six knots on even the time. Well, Even though we did go the wrong direction. Yeah, but it was, hardly, it was hardly no wind. See, it was wind. And yeah, uh, yeah we no. did, because of the angle, we did good. Yeah. I'm going to hoist it. Flag 
is coming down and this one we've been hoisting since 14th or 15th of May. That's like three months or something like that. Or it's, it's, it's four months. June, July, August, yeah, it's over. It's three and a half months at this point. Yeah. Salty stiff line here. Shouldn't you just be singing Scotland the Brave or what is the song? Uh -huh. All Ang's line with Robert Burns maybe. Yeah. We're yeah, done. Done. And we also we used a new check-in procedure. Yeah. From uh, for the Border Force Control of the UK, yeah. So last time we were here we used the um, Excel sheet on their page, it's C1331. But now they have come up with an E1, that means that you can fill it out directly, uh, fill it in directly on the internet. And uh, if you don't want to send it right now, you can fill it in. And then when you're ready to leave, you just uh, email. Uh, you just, you don't email, you just say go. And submit. You just submit it. Yeah, and then they called us. And they called us and a we, few hours later. And, and the, said, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You are good to go. You don't need to hoist the yellow flag when you're coming. You're checked in now for six months. Perfect. I mean, I think that's really brilliant. Makes it so much easier for us. Since we uh, just started the engine, we are... Um, uh, taking the opportunity to uh, air our duvet sheets and pillows since uh, both Frederick and I have been sleeping continuously in those uh, uh, sheets and the duvets for 48 hours so the first 24 I get really tired and I, I lay down and sleep quite a lot but I feel so much stronger today and how are you doing are you feeling strong or is it the same? I'm strong. You are strong. I'm that's, always strong. That's my captain. I'm really happy for that. And then the wind will come back. We, it is a promise, they said on the prognosis. We hope, I guess, that the wind will come back. But at least that we uh, have the current against us with the motor. Maybe yeah. say la later. Yeah. yeah. So here's a uh, fishing boats and uh, they are all from uh, the UK and uh, we have uh, the current with us uh, it's very nice when you're motoring and you do have the current with you well I guess it's nice anytime to have the current with you as you can see we are topping up to nine knots so we have motored some today engine stopped a couple of hours ago and we're making good speed towards our goal of in Inverness. So this is the morning uh, after our third night on board, a little bit tired maybe, and we had just taught, started the engine because there's absolutely no wind. And we are in Marae Firth at the moment, having this beautiful sunrise. Good morning. On our way to Inverness, we just passed 5,000 on the log. But I guess we have done a little bit more because we know that we have a little something happened and we haven't calibrated it again. So it shows a little bit too less, I think. I think it's. A, I think we're actually missing like 300. Yeah. But we are happy. We're happy with five. outside the lock in there you have the lock and I guess what did they say 2.30 for 230, us yeah. and now it's like one o'clock or something like that uh, yeah 10 past one yeah so we have an uh, one and a half hour to kill maybe I should fly the drone why not 
Why not? Did you finish the anchor drum? Yeah. But I think we'll keep the bottle. Yes, we will. We will put some other anchor drum in it. No. And, um, oh, here it comes. Because we need to summarize our, uh, this sail. Shall we just try it a Cheers. little bit? Cheers. Yeah, how can we summarize it? So we are inside the two locks now and we officially are in the Caledonian Canal yeah. after a three day sail. It mm -hmm. was more or less exactly three days. Yeah, it was actually. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And could you summarize it? Uh, it was a smooth sailing. The North Sea is famous for being un an uncomfortable sea. But this time it was really smooth. The waves were like one meter only. I'd say one complaint was that it was a little bit too little wind at times. So overnight, a couple of times we were down to like three, three and a half knots. But it was nice, comfortable sleep. So we had to use the engine for a little bit more than 18 hours. We had great weather. It was not raining or no fog or anything like that. So yeah. So it was a good say. It I'd was say. a little bit attacking in the beginning. That oh. was annoying for the first hours or so, and then the yeah. wind turned, and then it was like perfect sailing. Mm. And the last twenty-four hours was l little winds, but we sailed, oh. especially during the night, so mm. we can have a nice sleep. And then mm. we we motored uh, a little bit yesterday mm. during Almost daytime, and then. Mm only did like mm. three knots yeah. and then more to the last bit in mm. now but that was a really good crossing I was it say. was comfortable really comfortable yeah. and mm. and it was interesting to go down among the oil oil uh, rigs and things like yeah. Sweden hey. <laughs> so I think we will seal this um, crossing with a little Ankadam. Cheers. Cheers. Well done. Well done.